boys and girls, it is JD here, and we are back with another video this week. Awesome. So, this month, we have a different question, and just like last week, the question is, who is good? Now, do you remember what the answer to that question was? God is good. Yes, God is good. So, the question is, who is good? And the answer is, God is good. Awesome job. So, this month, uh, we have a special holiday, and it is Thanksgiving. And uh, Thanksgiving, I am very thankful for something that we get to do on Thanksgiving, and that is eat so much food. Oh, I don't know what your favorite food is, but my favorite food is macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese. Can you tell me your favorite food? Awesome, that is so good. Well, so I have some pictures of some of our favorite foods. And I want you to, when you see the picture, I want you to tell me, what do you think this food is, okay? So, here you go. Hmm, this one's a little bit difficult. But what do you think that is? It's a potato, yes. So with potatoes, you can make so many things. So you might like french fries, that comes from a potato. You might like mashed potatoes, that comes from a potato. So I think a lot of us likes potatoes. <laughs> All right, so our next thing, what do you think this is? Yes, it's a carrot. A carrot is a vegetable. Sometimes we eat it like this, sometimes we cut it up and we eat it like in pieces or we eat it in dishes oh, so so good carrots are so good and they're good for you all right so tell me what what food is this yes it's an apple a red apple i love apples i i love all kinds of fruits but apples i love apples you got green apples or red apples do you like apples Yes, oh, I know some people may not like apples, but it's okay. Some, some foods we do like, some foods we do not. Okay, I have one more. What do you think this is? That's right, it's a banana. Oh, bananas are so good. So you just, you peel the bananas and you eat the banana on the inside. Oh, what, what can we do with bananas? We can put it in our cereal or our oatmeal. We can, we can make banana floats or banana boats. I don't know if you know what that is, but banana boats are so good. What else? We can make banana pudding. Oh, there's so much that we can do with bananas. It's so yummy. I know my grandmother, she loves to make banana pudding at Thanksgiving and it is so good. Can you tell me what your favorite Thanksgiving food is? What do you like to eat at Thanksgiving? I like to eat banana pudding or turkey. I love turkey, it's so good. This was fun guys, just talking about all the different foods that we like and the different ways to eat the food, it's so good. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm so ready for Thanksgiving. All right, it's good to talk to you guys and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I just want to thank God for the way he made me Everywhere I look, I see how much he loves me I am so excited I am so excited And I just can't hide it And I just can't hide it Yes, I love him too Oh, oh, oh Yes, I Oh, 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 God loves me, I know.
what I'm doing? That's right, I'm making bread. Well, actually, right now I'm kneading the bread. You fold and push, fold and push. It's so much fun. But there was a lot to do before I got to the kneading part. First, I had to mix the flour and salt in the oil. Then I poured in the yeast. You have to be careful with it and pour it in slowly. Then I mixed it into the flour. Finally, I got to knead. The kneading really is the best part of making bread. You fold and push, fold and push. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Making some bread today, are you? I sure am. Kneading the bread is my favorite part. It's awesome. Making bread is fun. It's true. I know of someone who made bread just like you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, go fetch Stormy Jane. <laughs> oh, hi friends, I'm Carrie, and today I'm playing fetch with my best dog, Stormy Jane. Whoa, Stormy Jane, hold on, silly dog. Wait, where's the toy? Oh, you brought me your bowl. She seems upset. What do you guys think Stormy Jane wants? Oh, food, I bet you're right. Are you hungry, Stormy Jane? I will take that as a yes. Have you guys ever been hungry? Like really hungry? Like so hungry that your tummy is making that rumbling noise? You have? Well, Stormy has for sure. Which reminds me of a story about a guy who was really hungry. Let me get Stormy some food and I'll tell it to you. This true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah who one day got very, very hungry but there was no food or water anywhere. God told Elijah to go to a woman that God had chosen and she would give him food. So Elijah went off to find her. Tell me if you see the woman. A goat? No, that's not her. There's a man, but that's not who we're looking for. You see her? You're right, there she is. That's the woman God said to ask. 
So Elijah went up to her and said, Can I have a drink of water, please? And a piece of bread? I'm very hungry. I'm so sorry, she said. I don't have any bread. I only have a little oil and a little flour. I'm picking up sticks so I can make one more meal for me and my son. Then we won't have any food left. But Elijah told the woman, Don't be afraid. God will help you. So the woman went home, and she used the last of her flour and oil to make bread for Elijah. There goes the oil, and there goes the flour. Now she's got to pat the dough. Can everyone help? Let's pat it. Pat, pat, pat. Now let's knead it. Knead, knead, knead. Good job, little bakers. You can stop. The bread is ready. The woman gave it to Elijah, who was super hungry. Thank you, Elijah said. But what about the woman and her son? They needed bread too. All her flour and oil were gone. But remember, Elijah had told her that God would help her. Look, on the table, there's more oil and there's more flour. Elijah told her that God said she would not run out of flour or oil. And they didn't. From that day on, Elijah, the woman, and her son all had food to eat. They were very thankful for the food God gave them. God is good. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. God helped the woman and her family. God is good. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, the woman made bread for Elijah and then God made sure she would have more flour and oil to make more bread. God is good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it, get it? Good. I know Elijah was thankful for that bread. I'm thankful for bread too. I should write that down and put it on our thankful tree. I'm thankful for bread and apples and bananas and pizza and I have so many leaves to add. See you guys next time. Goodbye. To the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107 1.